Hey, what's up everybody, Adobe Masters here. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how to use the panner effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. So the panner effect really allows you to have some fun with the stereo aspect of sound. So stereo means that it's being played through two separate channels, a left and a right channel. What that means is that we can have some fun with that and sort of play with the space within the scene. And this really goes into creative sound design. So we can actually use this panner to emulate objects in real space because whenever you hear a car honk, you you can immediately tell, was it coming from the right? Was it coming from the left? If you hear you know, a guitar being played, you can tell if it's coming from the right, behind you, the left, stuff like that. It gives you a spatial awareness. So when you recreate sounds, when you add sounds to your footage, a lot of times it's really good to never put them directly in the center unless it's coming from the center of the frame. If it's coming, if you want it to be coming from the left or the right or behind, you can kind of give it a pan effect to give it that sort of feeling so that when people listen to it in headphones or on a TV or any other stereo device, it sounds like that to them as well. So that's what we're gonna be doing in this tutorial. We're gonna be creating some stereo sounds and having a little bit of fun. So let's get started. Right now here, all I have is just this sort of stationary shot right here and all you can hear in the background is just some city noises. If you just listen right there, you can hear just sort of like, you know, a car or two going by. Nothing too crazy happening there. So let's go ahead and add a sound to this. We're gonna go over into our project panel and have a little sound right here. And you'll notice that this is an ambulance and it already looks like it might be a little loud. So let me drop this down so I can save any people wearing headphones. And I would recommend wearing headphones for this as well or any listening on a device that is not mono. So it doesn't just have one speaker, it has multiple speakers. So you can kind of sound, hear this effect. So if it goes down to mono, you're not gonna be able to hear it at all. So then let's listen to it with the ambulance in it now. So, you know, it just gives that sort of sound. It sounds pretty neat. I mean, it actually sounds like it could fit in this situation given the background, but let's take it to the next level. Let's do something really simple to it. All we have to do is click on the audio right here, and then we go over to the panner, and we're actually gonna move this all the way to the left right here. So now it's gonna start in our left ear, and then what we're going to do is we're going to, over the course of this, we're going to transform this over to our right ear. So instead of having that basic sound of it all just being there at the same time. Even if it kind of sounded like it was driving in there, this will really sell the effect. So let's listen to it once again. And now you can really hear that effect going. It starts off with only the left channel playing. And if we actually go over the audio clip mixer right here, you can see that it's just sort of really pumping up that left. And then as the slider is moving, it's slowly balancing them back out. And then the right ear will start to slowly take over near the end there. And then it'll sound like it's driving off to the right. And that is really, really powerful to do with any sound that you have is to, you don't even have to do it this way um, where you, you know, transition over time. You could just, you know, try to create a scene. That ambulance is off to our left. Maybe we grab a car honk and we can put it in here and then we'll take the car honk and we'll make it go to the right. And you can just build your scene that way. So you don't only build it, you know, spatially with visuals, you can build it spatially with sound as well. Sort of just a quick tip, but it's right there. It's so simple to use and it can really up the production value of your piece whenever you're doing sound design. That is going to be it on this tutorial. If you guys have any questions or comments, throw them in the comment section below or go to adobemasters.net where I have a forum set up that you guys can go ahead and comment on and I would love to help you guys out there. That's adobemasters.net. If you guys want to see more videos similar to this one, I make a video every other day on Adobe related products. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and until next time guys, see ya.